Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 18 of the September Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. And today we have another um, data structure E problem. So we will see. Uh, I didn't do much today. I kind of rested. Maybe not. I, I need to rest more, to be honest, uh, than I claim to be. Uh, I What did I do? Oh, I just, I, I just finished watching Endor, so... I know it's been out for a couple of months, but I finally caught up to it because uh, I knew once I started, I couldn't stop because it is just so tense, you know, uh, and it is definitely one of my favorite shows uh, in a while. And then after that, I've been watching Futurama while resting. So I guess that's that. I probably just need to take a nap. Uh, all right. So let's take a look at the, today's problem. Let me know what you're watching. And yeah, um, I think one more thing that I wanted to say is that because, you know, uh, I mean, you saw me trying to do a reset of the thing. Didn't really look at it. But I mean, it's medium. I don't really care. But so that, that means that there's already a video out. I think in the future, I'm going to play around the YouTube title so that it's more apparent what day I'm doing these on. Um, if that makes sense. Um, because, you know, sometimes I talk about it on a daily kind of basis. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I, I haven't really decided what I want to do with it yet. But maybe just like a little bit. I mean, I've been kind of working in, you know, like daily updates or whatever, even though most updates are not that many updates and I'm just kind of just chilling. Um, but let me know what you think. All right, let's take a look at today's problem. We have 3408 Design Task Manager. Uh, you have a task manager allows users to manage the task, each associated with a priority. System should efficiently do, 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 do. Okay, so basically you have five uh, methods. One is the constructor. Uh, you're given a list of user ID task priority, which, okay, I guess. Add, just ask, add one more. Edit uh, allows you to edit a current one. And then remove, removes the task. And then execute give tell, okay. So, I mean, this is literally what, um, basically what we talked about yesterday, right? It is literally a, a, a queue problem, or sorry, a priority queue problem or a heap problem. Um, it is pretty uh, straightforward in theory, like I said yesterday, right? In the uh, the textbook version of the priority queue, there is an update priority or, or whatever update heap, but for whatever reason, we actually don't get that in the standard library. I, don't, I actually don't know why. So you can implement it in a lazy way, and I don't mean lazy as in like you're lazy, but uh, lazy in terms of algorithms is just about like um, doing things when you when you need to or delayed maybe as in a, but a different word but yeah all right so then here uh, and as same as yesterday is that we may use a sorted list instead um in other languages you may use um you know some sort of binary balanced binary search tree ba backed uh uh, uh, data structure. L l l let me know in the comments what you use for your language if it's not one of the ones that I'm, you know, uh, uh, familiar with. Right. So, okay. So then now, first of all, what, what, what do we sort by? We want to sort by highest priority. Okay. And then the highest task ID. Okay. Uh, and then that's it, I guess. Is task ID unique? I suppose it should be, but it's leak code. Sometimes maybe there may be some silly things. Uh, okay, eh, okay, maybe that's fine. We'll see. Um, but yeah, but that means that we can just, you know, uh, for user ID, task ID, priority in tasks, we can do sub.sl. Right? We can add. Um, Uh, what do we care about again? Priority, task, and then user ID, right? Uh, and again, same thing as yesterday, really. We have a lookup thing so that we can, when we update, we, we can fetch it in a very quick time, or at least the details. So we look up and um, I guess task ID should be unique. So we, we can maybe just set something like this, right? The priority and the user. Uh, and then, yeah, and then when you have add, well, maybe this could have been uh, abstracted in that maybe this could be uh right 
So maybe something like this, in fact, right? And then edit, uh, edit so we get a previous, a previous priority. And maybe previous user. I mean, I, I guess it's just will refresh, right? Does it have to exist? It is guaranteed that it exists. Okay. Yeah. Just want to make sure. I mean, it's not easy, hard. I mean, it's not a difficult thing to add. It's just like one more if statement, but you have to look for it and you have to do it. But in any case, yeah. So then we do self dot lookup of the new task ID. Is you go to uh, the new priority and well, previous user. It's not a previous user, it's like the same user, but yeah. And as a result, we want to add this thing, right? New priority, task ID. Uh, I guess it's just regular user. Uh, but then you also want to remove the previous one. This is the same thing we did yesterday, right? Previous priority, though, I, I'm using like different cases. In, in, so it's, it's very weird. I mean... Yeah. I mean, they have a thing, but then they don't really, um, I don't know. It's not really Pythonic the way that their code gen is. Or is it me? Sometimes I, I get confused because I have so many languages in my head. But uh, yeah, right. And then we move is, yeah, I mean, I guess technically I could have just done this too. But um, yeah. Uh, and then that's it. And then top is just, uh, what, what do we do? I mean, we get the, the biggest element, which is how we structured it. But, and then it's removed. Okay. So, and there's a no task available. So if link of is equal to zero, we return negative one. Otherwise, we return the user ID. So here we want to do priority. Uh, task user duh, 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 and then we're gonna return user. We want also want to pop it off. I think there's a pop. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, I need to do it explicitly. I forget. Uh, oh, I, I copied and pasted. And I just forgot. Well, I refactored it a little bit. Man, I am tired. I don't know why. I didn't even do anything today, and tomorrow's my hard day. Uh, we'll see. I don't. Do we use X? I guess so. I actually don't know if. I, I mean, I guess it must. I am curious, but because I, I don't think I've ever used sorted list for pop before. But I guess that's okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's go over the complexity really quick. Sorted list is going to be log n. So, yeah. And the other thing is all of one. Both to uh, log n. So this is log n, log n, log n, and. Uh, actually, I don't know if. Getting the max item is log n or o of one, but yeah, let's just say log n as an upper bound. I mean, maybe, the, maybe it's, it's not a. It doesn't have to be a tight upper bound, but uh, but I just I mean it's just library core, so I it's not that interesting to me. <laughs> and you could in theory cache it if you really want to make it over what, right? So yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and yeah, stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.